Hey guys, it's Crypto the Dog here from BeastModeTrading.net. Um, today I'm going to do a video on Soft 4 FX Simulator. Uh, a week ago I did a video on FX Blue Trading Simulator. Uh, there are a few differences between these two, uh, one of which is cost. This one does cost money, FX Blue is free. Um, the similarities, they both will keep track of your trades for you. Uh, they both give you graphs and stats, and they both allow you to trade tick-by-tick -tick data, uh, similar to live trading, but you're trading past data. Uh, so what you want to do to install this, of course, is go to Soft4FX's website. The link will be in the description. And download either the trial version or purchase a copy and download that. Um, once that's done, you'll go ahead and install it, and it will show up in your expert advisor list in uh, MetaTrader. So you'll have it right here in your expert advisors. You'll drag and drop it to a chart, and you will get this screen here. Uh, once you have this screen, then we're going to go ahead and go to Data Center. You've got to do this before you run the simulator because you'll need to download your uh, currency data for the first time. Um, I've already got a few pairs downloaded here, so we're not going to actually download any tonight because that takes actually quite a while. If you wanted to download some, though, all you have to do is choose the provider that you want to download from and then check the box by whichever currency pair you want to download and click download. It'll pop up this box and ask you how many years of tick data you want to download or if you want to download all of the data. I normally do three years of data. Seems fine for my purposes. Um, you can of course download more. It just takes a lot longer. So once you've done that, you'll go ahead and close out of here and then we're going to click new simulation. Once you click New Simulation, um, this will pop up. This window here will pop up. Uh, you'll want to choose which currency pair you want to trade on. The only ones that will show up here are ones that you've already downloaded. Uh, we're going to do Euro USD. You'll want to choose your simulation start date. Um, and then if you want it to end on a day other than the last day of your simulation data, you'll click that here and choose which day you want it to end. If you leave it unchecked, it'll just end on whatever day your history ends on. Um, here you can choose your account currency. We're going to leave it at USD because I'm trading US dollar. You can change your starting balance. If you'd like, I'll just leave it at 10000 you can, uh, I think this box right here, rewinding allowed, is checked by default. If you want to be able to rewind your charts to go back uh, to candles, if you skip over them, you'll want to make sure that box is checked. This just controls your pip size and your loss size, as well as your leverage. You'll want to set that to whatever leverage your broker has. And then your spread, you can either leave it as to whatever the spread is in your history data, or you can choose fixed spread and set that manually. Um, if your broker charges a commission per lot, you can enter that here. Um, and then your initial history on your chart, so when your chart opens up, it'll go back 15 days. You can change that number here, of course. So once we have all that set up, we're going to go ahead and click Start Simulation. And this will bring up this window here. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and open our chart. So to do that, you click on the Charts button, and it will pop up this window. You want to choose which time period of chart you want to open. Now, you can open multiple time periods if you want. So let's say you trade on the 30-minute, but you also want to have an hour and a four-hour open so that you can check for trend or different things on those charts. You can have multiple charts open at a time. I normally just trade one chart at a time, so I'm just going to go ahead and open the hour. 
And then um, in this drop down, you can choose whether you have a standard chart or like a Renko chart, tick chart, things like that. I'll just go ahead and do standard and then click add. This will add the chart to the list here. Um, once you have it added here, you can click open and that will open the chart on your screen. Now, if you ended up putting multiple charts on here, you can actually that added one minute actually well hourly i think it's because i went up and changed this drop down they added the other one as well so as you can see we can have two charts here um i'm going to go ahead and open the hourly and then close the uh one minute chart and we'll go ahead and close this window and that will bring us to our chart now our chart, once it's open here, you can set it up however you want. If you have a template that you want to load, um, or if you want to add indicators, you can go ahead and add indicators to the chart. Go ahead and add a MACD here. And of course you can add whatever you want. This isn't really a video for strategy, it's just to show you how to use the simulator. So. All I'm doing is adding a MACD. Um, so now once you've got that set up, the chart set up how you want, this is how you start your simulation. Um, this is going to be your speed bar right here. This will speed it up and slow it down. You can either go ticks by second or a multiple of real time. So if you want to go, you know, I don't know, 21 times real time speed, then you would select that there. Or if you want to go, uh, you know, so many ticks per second, 837 ticks per second or whatever, you would move it to there, hit play. And this will, as you can see, it's moving our, our candles faster than real time up and down the chart. So that's one more benefit to this is it's a lot faster than FX Blue. FX Blue fastest speed. Um, would not get you through candles this quick on the tick by tick. It's actually kind of annoying. So you can pause the chart right there. You can also click this button right here and this will set when your chart will automatically pause. So you can set it to where it auto pauses when either your stop loss or take profit is hit. Um, if you have an order that executes either you know, a buy or sell order, it will pause the chart at that time too. Or if you, when it reaches a certain price, you can choose all those there. Um, I nor I personally don't use the tick by tick data. Uh, the way I like to do it actually is by clicking this next bar and it'll just go bar by bar through the charts. I like that better because I can control the speed exactly and I don't end up missing trades because the bar went too fast so that's just personally the way I like to do it you can hit this previous bar here and that will rewind you so once you're going here once you've got your chart open um, you've got this button right here this is news so this news button will show you all the news that's going to occur um, on the day you're trading and in the future uh, you can click this news button right here and it will add vertical lines to your chart and they're color coded by the key that's on this box here. So like the lim low impact news will be these green lines. Uh, the medium impact news will be orange and then the high impact news will be red. Of course, you can change this to where it's only for your currency. So we'll do Euro USD. Do that, and this is only the news that affects our specific currency. So um, we're going to go ahead and set a buy here, just so I can show you how that works. When you're going to set a buy, this right here is where you adjust your lot size. So it's set by default on one micro lot. You can also change it to where it goes by risk percent. So this is the way I like to do it because normally I would just manually calculate my trades out in a risk calculator. So I knew how big to set the position size, de size depending on what my stop loss and take profit was. If I set it in here to 
and then I set my stop loss, um, it will automatically calculate what my position size should be depending on what my stop loss is and automatically figure that out for me. So that's the way I personally like to do it because it just saves me a little bit of calculation when I'm trading. So we'll go ahead and click the buy bar button here. What that did was that did a market buy. Anything on this tab here is going to be your market order, so your sell or your buy. Um, once you hit the buy, you can see it on the screen here. I'm going to actually close out the news. You can see it on your screen here, and it's got your buy line here, your take profit here, and then your stop loss here. So now we'll start cycling through the chart bar by bar here. And we hit our stop loss. I don't know if you saw that, but that was a red bar there before, and that candle just, uh, you know, tanked on that red bar. So we can go ahead and set a sell order here. Again, that'll set it at 2%. As you can see, with that loss, I've only taken one trade, and now my account's down 2% because it auto, you know, it automatically figured out my position size there depending on my stop loss. Um, so now we'll go ahead and hit next. And we got stopped out on that one as well. So that's how your market buys and sells work. Uh, this pending tab right here will let you set pending orders. So you can set either a stop or a limit transaction from here. Um, whatever, whichever one you want to set, this distance pits will actually set that position in that distance from where the current price is. So like if I did a buy stop here, it would set my buy 20 pips from where the current position is. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. So what it's got to do before it buys is the candle's got to go through this buy line. Well, it's got to hit the buy line. It doesn't have to go through it because this is a stop order. If it was a limit, it would have to go through it. So as you can see, we're not even going to hit it. I'm just going to cancel those. So we'll delete all of our trades there. Um, we'll actually do a sell limit here at 20 pips. There we go. We hit our sell limit and then got stopped out. Um, so that's how your limit orders work. You can actually set it at a price too. So if you wanted to buy stop at you know a certain price over here, you could set that right here. Um, leave it as pips for now. So this presets tab, what that does is that will allow you to set a trailing stop. Um, so you can, for example, when your order is like 20 pips in profit, you could set a trailing stop of five pips. So um, it would start trailing your stop at 20 pips and then, you know, either it would close out when it dropped by five pips after it hit that five pip trailing stop. Um, you can also set an auto break even here, which is really nice. So uh, when your order is so many pips in profit, then it'll move your stop loss to break even, which is a really nice feature. Um, so we'll go ahead and set a buy order here. I want to set a buy order with a take profit of 20 pips, and then I'm going to set another buy order with no take profit so that I can let it run if this climbs. Um, so what you can do is when your orders are open, you can click this Trades button, and that will show you your current market and pending orders. Um, if you've made trades, you can click the History tab, and that will show you your previous orders. Um, when you're in the market and pending orders, you can modify a take profit and a stop loss or your break even and trailing stop right from here. So if we want to modify the take profit or stop loss, we can click this modify hyperlink there. And then we can just drag our take profit um, or our stop loss to wherever we want and click accept and that will modify our order. Um, so you can also set this to where it'll close. If you have losing trades open, it'll close all your losers. If you have winning trades open, it'll close all your winners. Or you can close all your trades from right there. Go ahead and do next bar and see what happens here. 
Looks like I'm gonna get stopped out on that one. And probably stopped out on this one too. Oh no. Nope. Okay, so that basically goes over pretty much everything, the basics for the simulator. Um, there are some advanced features, but we'll we'll go over that in you know another video. So now that we've got some trades that have been completed here, if you go to the trades button, you can view your uh, history and your closed trades here. Uh, one cool thing, though, is that you can go here to the statistics, and this will show you a bunch of stats for your trading session. Um, so it can show you, like, your realized profit and loss, your drawdown, um, your spreads, you know, different things like that that can be really useful. Um, it will also show you a graph here. So this will show you your balance and your equity graph, as well as down here is your trade size. So all of our trade sizes are even because I had it set on the 2%, um, you know, risk size. So all of our trades are pretty much even down here. But um, if you have different money management principles, you can see, you know, your different trade size depending on where you're at and your money, money management strategy down there. Um, so, yeah, I think that about covers everything um as far as the main features go i mean this is a simulator just like fx blue is again there's a few things i like about this but this does cost money now you can download a demo from their website um, but it only allows you to do five trades per simulation but you can at least try it out um, if you want to do that their website um, i'll put the link for their website in the description as well as um, a link to my website, beastmodetrading.net. Um, go ahead and if you wouldn't mind, like and subscribe my videos. That will notify you if um, there's new videos that come out in the future. Um, leave in the comments if there's anything you're interested in me making a video about in the future. And if you're looking for trading tips, head over to my website at beastmodetrading.net. Thanks, guys.